So a couple of weeks ago, some fresh blood to Rocket League asked me a very simple question of, do you have any tips to get started? And like most people, I told him to go into free play and just hit the ball around to get comfortable with it. But I also told him there are some standard settings they are going to want to change to generally play better over time. Which got me wondering, how common is my Rocket League settings? So I decided to dig deep. I went into the beautiful place of Liquipedia, which has all kinds of information about Rocket League players, tournaments, and other stuff. Once there, I gathered all the available settings of notable players that have made $500 or more playing Rocket League. I then took this info into some spreadsheets, took note of the keyboard to Xbox to PlayStation ratio, before then converting all controls to the same utility for consistency of data. Then I did a few algorithms and finally, I found my answer. The most common settings across the best Rocket League players. But I wasn't done. Don't get me wrong, this information is pretty cool. Learning things like the most common button used for power slide, free air roll, and air roll left are all the exact same button, which is not confusing at all for a new player trying to figure out what their settings should be. I decided I wanted to see how common each specific setting was, and so I went back to the spreadsheets. I looked at my data again, did a few algorithms, and then made some pie charts of every setting and option used so that you could see what percent of these notable players use the same settings or bindings. And this, my friends, is the result. Now what do we do with this information? Well, firstly, it's hella cool to review and look at. I can see how common the settings are that I use, like the fact that only 2.2% of the players use square for boost like I do. We also have an amazing base of information to give people just getting into Rocket League. Some settings are an absolute wash like camera shake. Not a single player uses it, so just don't. Don't use it. Not debatable. Then you have things like throttle. Most people use the same settings of R2 on PlayStation or right trigger on Xbox. But you have a few rebellious people out there that think they're cool and need to use something else. So it's obvious the best recommended setting for a new player is to keep it at right trigger. On the other hand, if we jump into the charts and look at something like steering sensitivity, you will see a massive variety of used options, which helps us know that this setting is obviously strongly based on preference. But it gives us a good place to start with the most common setting at 1.3. Granted, that's not saying a lot considering only roughly 17% of the notable players use it. We also have information like the KBM to controller ratio, with the controller also split by PlayStation and Xbox. PlayStation controllers are widely the most popular utility used in this game, but I was surprised that the percent of KBM players was as high as 5.6. I don't know about y'all, but my impression was that it was going to be even less than that. Check out the charts, compare your own settings, and let me know in the comments your least popular keybind. Maybe you have one so popular that no notable player even uses it at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in Rocket League.